I don't want to stop in my freestyle For you, for you and you For you mm. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blocks and at the home of Nigerian African Boxing and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click like of course the sub subscriber right now The former unified heavyweight king of the universe and Joshua um, gave us a devastating knockout you know, as is always as is always done, man. The guy, no doubt, is still building himself back up. But I can see a lot of maturity in his fight game. He's not so much in rush anymore to knock anyone out. He's now a calculated fighter, a guy that will take his time, implement his game plan, and execute it. So he knocked out Robert Elinius in round seven with a devastating right hand even though he himself proud to trade that right hand he took a very solid left jab to the face side of the high um his left eye um by Linus, took a very heavy jab but steve found the courage and of course the strength to pull out pull off that right hand you know Joshua no doubt is still very much hesitant and you know to to engage but compared to his last fight you can see a lot of improvement. People might say well he's a lineage, he's a lineage. yeah. Well to take a fight this short notice, Alenius who is like confident in himself, Alenius himself was not bad. He he learned from his last uh, fight, you know, his last serious fight in terms of against Wilder. Because I've known he recently had a fight in Finland where he knocked out his opponent. But from his last heavy loss to Wada, he learned from that because in that fight he came all gone blazing. He wanted to like a power Wada and Wada caught him. And when, when Wada caught him, it was game over. In this case, it was very hesitant. It, was, it, be, it became an alienation that is that reserved and you know fought um, behind his jab. Basically, and an Elenius then fought Adam Kowaki that stopped Kowaki, uh, Konaki, uh, twice. Um, now, guys, what do you guys let me get up around here to discuss this uh, subject right here? Big ups to Ty Ibrahim and of course Adewale, and we have a lot of as well. <sighs> let me go to Adewale. Adewale, what do you make of this performance? And I'm impressed with you. And by the way, let's talk about Dylan White because imagine Joshua lost this fight by mistake or whatsoever. But Joshua, he was the heavy favorite. Imagine if he lo if he had lost this fight, it would be more devastating than the Ruiz fight because Elinius, of course, is a not a, like he's a part. He's not the Elinius of like that was tipped to be the next big thing that that be you no know, people used to compare Elinius to the, the Klitschko brothers saying that he would be the one to take over from Klitschko brothers. But Elinius you can tell is still very much a seasoned fighter and a lot of everyone who think that they can be Elinius will probably get knocked out by him. It's just fact. The guy is big, he's huge, he can box. He knows how to maneuver his way around the ring. You have to be a very powerful puncher to really knock this guy out cold like Joshua and Wilder did. I'm telling you right now. Not every heavyweight can do that. Doesn't matter how skillful you are, you've got to be able to land the right hand clean. But he can also maneuver his way out. Uh Adewale, what's your take on this? Man, congrats to AJ. Congrats to Hellenials as well. I mean, the guy has fought some of the best guys in this era. Even though this fight with AJ did not provide the regular type of paycheck that most of AJ's previous partners, I mean, previous opponents were paid because it wasn't a pay-per-view and it was a whatever. But congrats to Hellenius. Most importantly, congratulations to AJ. I feel like AJ, um, he took, he got hit a lot. That's the first observation. 
the other observation is as a man i wouldn't say as a fighter but as a man aj seems a little bit more mature you know um he has gotten to that point in his career where he has blocked out any naysayer in his career and that that should be res respected so congratulations to him for achieving that in his life as well congratulations to aj for landing that powerful right hand one thing i observed is earlier in the fight um he had successfully found the range for the right hand to land you know he would crouch down throw that jab and throw the right hand or it would launch in with the right hand he landed a couple of times earlier but it wasn't clean on Hellenius, and you could tell that he found a sweet spot to throw that right hand from so he did a little bit well you know um i still have some critique uh, when Adi was asking him questions during the post-fight interview are you fighting wilder what's going on he should have just simply said yes i want to fight wilder i don't know why he keeps playing all these games i just don't get it but it is what it is man i think joshua is done with, with talking about fighting water and this and that they just want to get with the business and fight i think he's tired of tired of all like the this is the reason why the fight didn't happen in the first place was both of them being outspoken so let the team their team do the job chile finko Yes, he's a contact with um, with Eddie Hearn. So I, th I think, and you have to know, Eddie Hearn said this this fight rests on the and, and on the hands of the Arabs, you know, the Saudi Arabians, and they are there present. So they know what we have to do. They know what what they have to do to get this fight. I think they are the only ones that can really win this fight. Anyway. I really hope that fight happens next because at this point, both guys are beyond. They are they've gone past their primes. So they might as well just fight now. Right now, that AJ scored a good knockout, very good KO. That has made the fight even more interesting. So they should strike, strike the iron while it's hot. That's what I'll say about that. Yeah, bro. Okay, big up to you, brother. Uh, Tajab, will your take on this? Uh yes, yes, man. Um, you know, people had to. A lot, of, a lot of people are still holding on to the notion of oh this the old aj listen man let the old aj go let him go you guys it's funny because they critiqued him then they're still critiquing him now and, and you can see what he what he's doing now he doesn't give a fuck anymore after he knocked out helenius he's telling everybody to suck it and i completely have to agree you critiqued him when he was knocking people out he was robot he was doing this he gave that up to show that he could box you guys critiqued him then and all of a sudden you guys are critiquing him now man listen to me i don't i i, I I'm, I'm on aj's side i don't care you know everybody can suck it as much as they want man you know uh what i liked about him you know he move he doesn't stand in one place he's moving around you know he's switching the angles he's doing you know he's going to the body faint upstairs go to the body and land a good over right hand you know he has a variety of different punches that he uses you know, and I'm extremely happy with that. And, and I like the way he is. He's 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 very well when he goes to when he goes to the body. I think he puts more in the bank when he does that. I would like him just continue to, for him to continue doing that. As for me, I think he's continuously improving. Yeah, he took more punches because I think he was he was trying to set something up or he was trying to basically you know set trap, but he wasn't really um, working. But that's just something that works with Derek James. It's gonna have to continue. He's gonna have to continue building on that. You know. Um, I, I personally, I personally think um, the way the way that he's boxing right now, I think he likes the way he's boxing. You know, he 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 uh, he he respects his coach. You know, and he just wants to build from there from going forward. The way the way that he's been, you know, just been improving. I I honestly think he he would do fine. You know, between him between him and Wilder, I personally think it's whoever sets the job. I don't. Uh, I feel as if Wilder won't land that punch too early, you know. And if he does, it's all up to AJ to see if he wants it. May the better man wins, and whoever lands that right, oh, that right hand, uh, extremely well. Like I said, it's you can't just be a one trick pony, you know. And if you if you continue missing your right hand, but your your the other hand, your opponent is more of a pure boxer, 
and he's going to be, you know, throwing different angles and throwing different punches at you to where, you know, eventually it's going to start affecting you later on in the fight. As we can see, while the while those punches don't really go on, you know, don't really carry on to the 12th round when he's tired, you know, when it's it's only effective from the first round, but after he's tired, that's it, you know. So I think it's more of, you know, whoever sets the jab up, you know, whoever, you know, whoever lands cleanly is going to win. I think Wilder had a punch to take out AJ in one round, and I so do believe AJ has a has the same amount of punch to take out Wilder in the same round. You know, um, like I said, you got to enjoy what you have now because, like I said, you guys, they, they hated AJ then. They hated him when he switched up again with Andy Ruiz, and they hating on him now. So he said, forget it, man. You know, fuck everybody. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want, and I completely agree. I like this AJ. You know, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna continue supporting the guy, no matter what. Good for him, and that's it. Thanks, brother. <clears throat> um, Ibrahim, give uh, give you a quick take on it, and then we go to Olaji Day before we come out. Cool, man. Um, I mean, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna second what what Ty just said in terms of yes. Um, I've always supported him. I still support him now. And I continue to support him. Listen, AJ is my guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but look, there's, there's, I'm just going to be real. Yeah, I'm just going to be real. This, 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 look, there, there, there's two ways to dissect the performance. So there's a way that I can give him a blow and just say, okay, you know what? Like he's still working with Derrick James. He's still figuring out, you know what I'm saying? He's still figuring out this, this relationship. So that, that's one way to look at it. What I will say on the other side is to say, bro, you were still gun shy. This, this has got nothing to do with like a different style, like from a brawler to now a boxer. Listen, he still wasn't getting hit like this when he was a brawler. So why does becoming a boxer mean you're going to get hit more? It means you're going to get hit less, right? That's what it's meant to mean. So you can still take your best attributes from whatever style you had before and then you're adding to it, right? So like, why, why does that all of a sudden mean you're going to get hit more? That doesn't make sense to me. To me, it just seemed like he didn't either he was trying to carry him like like um like Tony Belly was trying to say which I don't think that was the case all right um or he just didn't want to step in and if he didn't say one thing in the corner he might have got away with it but he literally said to Derrick James in the corner I can't find the right I can't find the right and Derrick is like fucking use the job that's what that the... ah, bro I'm not a fucking train of the fucking year and I was screaming that from there who are we talking about here he didn't want to step in. Everybody knew what he had to do. Andy Lee was saying it. Tony Belly was saying it. We were saying in the chat. Derrick James was saying it. He fucking knows what he needs to do. But he didn't want to step in. And the one time that he did step in, he got the KO. And hopefully, that gives him the confidence moving forward. Like, okay, you know what? I went in, I went in there. I went into the water. I didn't get wet. I came out victorious. Cool. Like, I'm like, I'm back in it. I'm I'm hoping that that KO gives him that energy again because that celebration is like that was like a release. You know what I'm saying? That was because listen, he hasn't KO'd anyone like that for over five years, bro. Imagine you were the destructor and you haven't KO'd. Listen, at the end of the day, he said it like heavyweights, we go in there to knock people out. He hasn't had that feeling for years. So hopefully he can bottle that feeling up, understand what he had to do to get that knockout, to get that feeling, which is he had to go in there. And attempt to get wet, right? He had to jump in there, and he did it, and he's got that feeling. So hopefully now we can we can move forward with that, bro, because that's what he's gonna need to defeat the likes of Tyson, defeat the likes of Wilder. He's gonna need that, and he's gonna need to take risks where he might get knocked out. But if he doesn't, then they're going. Cause don't get it twisted. If any of them man get touched, like Helena's got touched today, they're also going. But he's gonna need to step into range to make that happen. That that's just the facts. I think if Fury if Fury gets in like that, he he will he will get knocked knocked out. Not knocked he's gone. out completely, but he will get knocked down heavily. He's gone. He will have to get, gone. get back up again. So it's gonna be interesting, but Wada, I don't know about Wada. I think Wada doesn't really I think um Fury is more of a have the He's more. He has more. He has more endurance than Water, you know. Um, but Water has a lot of hard as well. It's just that he keeps taking punishment. So I think Water 
which will be very interesting. The, the, the thing with Wilder, this is what I'm saying about him getting wet. The thing with Wilder, listen, I don't want to upset anyone. I know our days and our days on the <laughs> I don't want to upset anyone. But listen, Wilder is not <laughs> a <fighter. laughs> We're like a lot first now. <laughs> Wilder is not as skilled as this other guys as AJ or as Tyson. But Wilder ain't coming to play no games, bro. Wilder's not going to come and dance around you. Wilder is coming to take his head off. He can't start the way he started the Felonius today. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, if he hits Wilder, cool. He can get him out of there. But, listen, if he starts slow and Wilder's touching him like Elinus was touching him, come on, bro. We all know what's going to happen. You can't let Wilder Elinus touch Elinus him like really that. Touch him like that, bro. He just... Did I get? He, he didn't really touch him like that. He was just... Well, you, didn't, you didn't see his nose bleeding? Yeah, but he took... Like, he's normal for... He has a weak nose, bro. I'm not going to lie. He has a weak nose. Yeah, but, like, yeah, but, yeah, but no, no, no. But you man, you man are not... Okay, cool. What does Wilder do? When Wilder touches you with a jab, what's Wild, what does Wilder do? Wilder throws one two. Wilder <laughs> throws a lot of one two. He doesn't really throw That's jab like saying. that. If that no, but I'm saying if that jab touches you, it's following with a big right. Wilder, I'm just throwing the jab. That he's is true. Bat, bat. But AJ, AJ got hit a lot because he was trying to set something up and he completely forgot his defense. But let me let me say this one thing. What AJ said about carrying the heavyweight division, I can't even lie about that. That's because right. The, the back, I, time What's and time happening? again, time and time again, he's been setting up fights, ri taking risky fights, while these other guys are not taking any fights. Fact. Wilder and Ruiz has not been made, and that's completely embarrassing. Tyson Fury versus Usyk, he could have literally made that fight easily. He has not made that fight, and all of, all of a sudden, um, Dillian, Dillian White gets canceled. People are getting mad and asking AJ to pick him to pick Ruiz again. Like, what the fuck? Are you guys serious? They're getting <laughs> mad at AJ to pick another fight with Ruiz, right? But AJ versus Wilder versus Ruiz has not happened yet, right? And people are literally picking opponents for AJ. Like, it's I'm I'm, I'm just amazed. I'm like, this guy really runs the heavyweight division. Bro, you guys it's, 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 it's just jealousy, bro. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's so let's, weird. It's let's so get, weird let's, that people let's, actually people let's say go, that like, you should jump in with. Let's go like you like to like give stick with like, seven you know, days notice. Don't mind these people, Joe. But, but like, just, just quick one, just quick one before we go to Lajide. Like, I yeah. think right now is the perfect example of exactly what AJ has been saying, which is since he lost those belts, bro. What the fuck has been going on with the heavyweight division? Like literally, what the fuck is happening with the heavyweight division? So no one can say. Like when people talking about the old time greats and all this sort of stuff, and they want to put AJ's name in there about this what well, this generation anyway, and you want to put people like Tyson Fury in there, the man that's beat one guy three times, yeah, and he beat the ex world champion. That's all he's done. But yet they want to put him as an all time great when he's ducking all these other fights. It's a joke, bro. It's a joke, innit? Like this, this, this just it just what was what I'm looking. It just exposes all this fucking bullshit in boxing, bro. All right, I'll let you day. give you a quick take before Vamu right here. So, you know, um, I have not to say or say much on that because I feel like I would really second everything most guys have said on here, and I feel like to be fair, if we look at this fight properly, from the first round, AJ did find his range, but I feel like AJ did not want to go for any lockout, and I feel like. We're all looking at this fight in a way, but I see the way AJ is fighting now as a way of pretense in a similar way to the way Usyk came in and the way Usyk fought his first two fights. People look at Usyk and say, you know what, this guy will not go far and the heavyweight. But look at Usyk now, the way he dealt with AJ. He became a complete total animal. Everyone is kind of talking about the way he's getting touched, this and that, and that, and that, and that. I believe AJ did these things for personal reasons. Each time AJ touches Elinius, Elinius comes with a hug. But I don't think anyone really looks into that. And I feel like a lot of people are still going to complain, oh, AJ went all the way to seven rounds, and this and that, and that. And I'm glad the guy said one thing, people need to leave him alone so he can breathe. But it's another thing that is, I think AJ just needs to kind of like focus on what he's doing now. People looking into like, oh, we need the old AJ, old AJ back. He showed some signs of the old AJ today, but he's not going back to that. This is a, this is the AJ we've got now, and this is an AJ we need to kind of like get used to. 
that knows what to do and wants to do his own thing when he wants to do it, not when people want him to do things. See, like, everyone has said literally the right things in terms of fighting and stuff like that. So I ain't gonna lie, even if it comes to like seeing AJ Wilder, this is not the way he's gonna approach the fight. Never. But I feel like people talk about, and I feel like this is where people make mistakes. We talk about the next fight based on the way you fought your last fight. That's not how it's going to be because it's a different opening. AJ will not fight white the way he fought Robert. And that's facts, right? So I think it's a thing where we need to look into getting things. We might be looking at it like, oh, he got touched too much, this and that and that. I believe he has his reasons for doing all those things. But he wasn't bothered. He showed, one thing I believe he did show again today is he showed he can take punches. Because people have been going, oh, I don't think AJ can take punches anymore. Now nah, he's shy. Once he gets touched, he crumbles. He this, he that. He took a lot of shots today. Did he crumble? Nah. But you know what? He's what he is, right? Previous AJ, critics, right? New AJ again, critics, right? You can't please everyone. People always have one thing to say or the other. He's what he is. So, like, Good luck to him today, man. Let him enjoy his time. And then um, next fight comes, wherever he does, wherever he fights, best of luck to him. That's it. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you on this, guys. I want to say big, big shout out to each of each and every one of you. God bless you all for coming through and uh, catch up with you guys uh, very soon. Stay blessed, guys.